Hey everyone, thanks for joining us on another Ozark Overland Adventure. I'm Matt. This is my wife, Gara. <laughs> they should and, know that already. Well, hey, we got new viewers. <laughs> okay. We get new viewers all the time. Hi, new viewers. Yeah, they may not know. <laughs> I'm Gara. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so we are off for something a little bit different this weekend. Actually, a lot of bit different this weekend. Um, we are not off-roading, uh, but we are camping. We've got the Great Pumpkin behind us and we are actually heading to Oklahoma to go to Beaver's Bend State Park um, to be honest we have never camped in a state park before um, so this will be brand new we wanted something just kind of chill this weekend Tuesday was her birthday um, so we're kind of doing this 2995. so we're actually doing this kind of as a, a birthday weekend thing we had another trip planned with a bunch of friends but like half of them had to cancel so we postponed that for a couple weeks but uh anyway we're excited we've uh never been to beaver's bend before and have heard amazing things about it so there'll be uh this will be kind of a, a vlog style video for the weekend we'll be doing uh, probably lots of hiking anyway that's the plan it's gonna get dark soon so Stupid. not a lot of video tonight um we won't get to beaver's bend till probably 8 30 9 o'clock or, or later so anyway we will probably see you in the morning bye Also wanted to add a little side note. I'm letting him drive. Yeah, she didn't let me drive the Gucci mobile very often. Nope, I don't. He only drives the trash panda. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that needs to be a hashtag. No, it Start doesn't. that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> well, we made it to camp, got all set up. Um, initial impressions are this place is beautiful. Well, we could you know, see in the dark. Yeah. But uh, you can see the water. Yeah, we can see the water from here. We, mm -hmm. we actually found a campsite that was available on the water. So can't wait to show this to you in the morning. Um, but right now we are chilling in the camper. We actually got to make our the inside of our camper out into our little living room. Um, we're watching The Mandalorian. We're going to watch the latest episode <laughs> of The Mandalorian before going to bed. And then when we do, we'll I'll take you up into the, the tent so you can see what that's like. Yeah, here's the other side. Let me turn you around yeah. that way. We okay, got cool. the buddy heater on, keeping us cozy up in the tent. That's the annex back there. Um, but yeah, loving this, uh, loving this little setup. So we're gonna watch the Mandalorian now. We're going to bed. The hope is that the buddy heater down here will warm up, keep us nice and warm in the tent. Hopefully. Say good night. Good night. That woodpecker's got a massive headache. Is that a headache? Woodpeckers, stop. They're like, woodpecker, it's too early to be pecking. <laughs>
Well, good morning. This is our first opportunity to really take a good look at this place and it is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And it's, what time is it? It is 9.15 and people are quiet here. Except for the woodpeckers. Except for the woodpeckers and the birds who are going crazy at 7 a.m. But like the people here are super quiet. It's cold. It is. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. So we're going to take off and go, go do some hiking and mm -hmm. more exploring. So get a badge. Anyway, get, get, a, get, a, get a, not a badge, but patch. a patch. Get a patch. Patch. Look at that. Here, let me get out of it. There we go. Gorgeous. So pretty. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. I'm sure I'll catch up. Keep licking my lip. Then I would kiss you all the time because it's salty caramel. <laughs> True. Then I wouldn't have chapstick anymore. So. Back. This is where Mr. and Mrs. Beaver used to live. And I'm not making that up. This was their part of their home site that the state park is named after. Because it said so on a sign over here. This is the definition of one size fits most. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Bart Simpson in that meet where he just goes. <laughs> 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 Concrete. Uh huh. It's a little kind of damp. Going in the Hocha Time gift shop. With this neat old, looks like an Airstream camper coming out of the back. That's so cool. trout fishing spot here by the dam. The guy over there's got him a little trout. Wow. <laughs> That's gorgeous.
This place is just stunning. Rocks here look like a topo map. Show that crystal one. Oh yeah, up here. This whole side of the rock is just a crystal. Well, every time we go to a different spot in this park, it's just so beautiful. We were just driving down one of the roads and saw this waterfall rapids area and had to stop. Absolutely gorgeous. I just wish they'd let me fly the drone in the park, but they won't. And I really don't want to get in trouble. But this whole place is gorgeous. Super glad we came here. People just get to sit there and watch them. <laughs> well, we just got back from having one killer dinner Amazing. at a place called Abednego's. 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 Not bad. It's Abednego's. There's no N in it. I think it's Abednego. No, it's Abednego's. Are you sure? Positive. Mm. We think it's from the Bible. From Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I just call it a Benny. <laughs> anyway, a bed in the ghost. Um, or a bed in the ghost. Or, or not a bed in the ghost. Um, and it was some of the best food we have had in a long time. Yeah. Um, it was killer. So the Southwest egg rolls. Southwest egg rolls. She had chicken parm that was spicy. Yeah. And I, like I had the salmon, which was really good. unreal. Um, the calamari was really good. We ate a lot of food. <laughs> we did. <laughs> but you brought half of yours home. I did, I did not. I ate all mine. Um, anyway, so we are now chilling by the fire. We have a little something special we're going to try for dessert here in a little bit. Um, and we're just going to relax for the rest of the night. So Stay warm. Stay warm. Well, we're about to try something new for dessert. If you've seen my videos in the past, you'll know how much I love my Coleman folding camp oven. Um, this thing has been an absolute game changer at at camp. Uh, biscuits and gravy, cinnamon rolls, brownies. Uh, we've made a dump cake, cobbler in it. Um, and so tonight, we're going to try to make cookies. I actually brought some cookie dough that I had already made at home. So went ahead and brought it with us. And we're going to throw those in there and see how they do. Now, I will say, this cookie dough does not have baking soda in it because I made it just to eat raw. Um, so they may just be completely flat, but we're gonna try for warm chocolate chip cookies at camp. Oh, 
All right, these have been in here for seven minutes. Let's check them. Oh, a little burning on the bottoms, but that's not bad. Looking good. It smells amazing. All right, let's see if we can get these out. Without burning my hand. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Too bad y'all can't smell these. We went to a winery today and they had something we'd never tried before. They had mulled wine, which is basically like an apple cider, warm, but with wine in it. Let's get out of that. And it's pretty darn good. So we've got the bottle over here by the fire getting it warm again. And it is just about perfect. It'll go great with the cookies. All right, here we go. Here's already oh, had so half of one. My turn. They're very gooey. They're very gooey. <laughs> Love the Coleman oven. Oh yeah, that was amazing. Oh. Anybody ever had chocolate chip cookies at camp? We have. Hell yeah. You may be wondering what this is. It's light tell, bar. <laughs> it's my head. It's my head head light bar. Um, it actually says light bar on it. It does. It's baby. It's light bar pro. Light bar pro. Uh, yeah, that, it's the pro. Yeah, it's the new headlamp that Carrie got me for Christmas, but I've already got it. I don't do Christmas well. Because that's how we roll. But watch this. Check this out. <laughs> it's gonna blind them. Look at that. <laughs> and it lights up everything. Look. And then it lights up everything. This is the, the best. The fire lighting it up. Yeah. You need a beer. Yeah, look, at her. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Look at how bright she is. I'm so bright. And it's got a uh, red, so you can do red. Then you look like better. a. Then you look like a Cylon, or the, the, the Cy, Cy, no Cylon from Battlestar Galactica. No, I'm thinking of X Men Cyclops. Oh yeah, Cyclops from X Men. Yeah, Jean. yeah. You know, her dude. Yeah. So anyway. Okay. You just keep on Love showing it. them that lot bar. No, we got four have, cookies here. Two for I you, two for me. One. I know. This is mine. That's yours. You should give you half. Uh uh. I had the idea. I cooked them. <laughs> no, you didn't. The Coleman did. I made these at home and then I cooked them here. While well, you sit here by the fire. You're nope. welcome. You're welcome for your lot bar. All right. We're going to eat these cookies and then we're going to go in the camper and watch a movie. It's currently 8 o'clock. And it's just so quiet and peaceful here. Except for the sound of the woodpeckers. They're incredibly loud. My God, just being on the water, watching the little water ducks out there. Just a minute ago, saw a couple otters playing on the other side of the bank. Well, it is about eight. 45 Sunday morning and I am chilling down in the camper killing time watching a little venture forward YouTube waiting for Kara to finally decide to wake up I am awake oh you are awake why are you still in bed because I want to get up it's cozy it is cozy up there I got really hot last night come on down the Heater's on and it doesn't feel too bad. Well, I don't need to because I'm already cozy. You can't stay up there all day. You keep your eyes open, that's good. No, I don't think that would work very well. See what I have to live with? Well, Kara finally got out of bed. <laughs> hey, so we're getting ready to go let's do another little hike before having to head home, but right now we're just checking out more of the, the park. And this little area here is gorgeous. Let me show you. It's a bummer that they don't allow canoes and kayaks and stuff in this part of the park. But that's what it says. This would be awesome to play around in a kayak. But gosh, isn't this gorgeous?
Well, it's just me on the friend's trail. It's quite a bit colder today than it was yesterday. Actually, it feels colder. It's not actually colder, but it's a lot cloudier today. So the sun's not out, so it feels colder. And Kira decided that she wanted to stay in the warmth of her Jeep. So I'm gonna make this a quick little hike down here and then go from there. This is off camber. It does not take long to get to the water. You can see it down in there. I think the main trail goes to the right, but the water is to the left, so I'm going to the water. All right, me being me, I want to get out to that and walk up that rocky section, so see how bad I have to get wet to do that. <clears throat> not bad. Okay, that's not slick. Nope. Not slick. Um, mossy, mossy, mossy. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's so cold. At least it's not slippery. There we go. Did it. Ah, oh, made it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Slight change of plans. Kara just texted me because she knows me so well and asked me if I wanted her to pick me up at the spillway, which is just upstream. So that means I just get to keep hiking the stream until I get there, which should be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm excited about that. You may be wondering, why is this idiot hiking in sandals when it's 52 degrees outside and the water temperature is a lot colder than that? Well, I'm glad you were wondering. And really, there's a few reasons. Number one, I'm just super comfortable hiking in, in Teva hiking sandals. Been hiking in these for 25 years. Um, <clears throat> And I'm super comfortable in them. I'm super stable in them. I can tighten up the straps real tight around my feet to give me a really firm footbed. And uh, just very stable that way. Number two is I'm inevitably gonna get in water. Inevitably, that's hard to say. I am inevitably gonna get in the water. And I hate cold, wet socks. It's just uncomfortable. You get bad blisters and I don't like it. So my theory is bare feet, or at least feet in sandals 
will dry out a lot faster than feet in wet socks. And cold dry feet is a lot more comfortable than cold wet feet. Plus no blisters. And I love getting my feet in the water. I have hiked in sandals through snow, below freezing temperatures, and my feet just don't get cold. I don't know why. Uh, it's just a thing with me. So there's your answer, that's why. Time to keep going. Well, I've got a bluff line over there. I'm not sure if I can make it up that. So it looks like I'm gonna have to find a way to cross the stream and get to the other side. Well, it looks like there is a little path here that goes up and around. So I'm gonna take it because the water through there is deep. And where I don't mind getting my feet wet, I don't wanna go swimming. So, I'm going up. Up and around. Yeah, I just can't get over how unbelievably gorgeous all this is. I mean, look at that. Wish I was down there on the water, but Kara would be most unhappy if I fell in and got hurt. All right, back down to the water. There we go. I think we're getting closer to the dam. Encountered some fly fishermen up here. This is where Santa trout fishes, by the way. I like how the fishermen have waders on and I'm just in sandals. Well, I'm getting close. I can see the dam from here. That's where Kara's picking me up. I do need to get to the other side though. Because that's where the parking lot is. Oh, I see her Jeep in the distance. Still looking for a good place to cross. Like some fisherman dropped his multi tool. It's in good condition. Well, there's Kara. All of this is. Too deep to cross. May have to backtrack a little bit. Well, here goes nothing. I think I could make it over to that little island and then cross over there. That one little bit right there. Not sure how deep that is or if I can jump it, but let's find out. This is how deep it is. Up to my shins. Oh. 
Maybe over there. Maybe that'd be better. All right, we'll come further, a little bit further downstream. This looks more manageable. Even if it's a tad deeper, this current's not as strong here. Yeah. There he goes again. He's trying a little shallower area. Again with his phone or his GoPro. I'm not sure. Just got a little wet. Uh, whew, that was refreshing. Ah, I made it. Well, I'm a little damp now, but not bad. Just got my sleeve wet. So, I made it. No harm done. It's a little chilly with the wind blowing though. I'm sure Kara is cracking up laughing in the Jeep. But that was a fun hike. A lot of fun. Time to go back to the camper. Hook up and maybe you'll get some lunch and start the journey home with a stop at Costa Talk Falls. And who knows where else. So the journey isn't over yet. Well, we are pulling out of Beaver's Bend State Park and have had an amazing time here. Um, so, honey, what was your favorite part of Beaver's Bend? You nearly busted your butt on the river. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be our answer. It was so. too much fun to watch. It was fun to do. Yeah, it was pretty. Yeah. This whole park is just gorgeous. It's so pretty. I want to come back and we can canoe and go see like the cypress trees. That'd be really pretty. Yeah, definitely going to come back to this park. Highly recommend. Um, next stop is Grateful Head Pizza to grab a pizza for lunch and then Costa Tot Falls State Park in Arkansas. And then we'll see what happens after that. These look amazing. Grateful Head Pizza. This is the Kossatot River. There is a sign back there that says no jumping from the bridge. I think that's probably a wise move. It's beautiful. Well, we made it to Kossatot River State Park and Kira got her patch from the visitor center and we saw the river. It's like to, uh, it was very pretty, uh, but unfortunately we weren't able to make it to the falls because what we didn't know is that it was a 30 minute drive one way to the falls from the visitor center, so we didn't have time for an hour round trip. Another day. But it gives us a good reason to go back. Um, but anyway, that's going to conclude this video and this adventure for now. Thank you so much for watching and coming along on this weekend with us. We really appreciate it. Um, 
be sure and hit that like button subscribe to the channel push the bell icon so be notified all the things about all the youtube things um, our next adventure is in two weeks yep. coming back to the washita national forest to spend the weekend actually exploring some dirt roads and trails and camping and stuff but not in the state park in two weeks so hopefully you'll join us on that one and we will see you then thanks a bunch bye